welcome to The Bite, my name is Jackie. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you a really easy dessert that can be made with minimal pantry staples. During this time, uh, time of self-quarantining, I feel like quick recipes with things that you have on hand are the way to go, um, and this could not be any simpler. And I actually learned about this from a Puerto Rican restaurant that I went to, and it's a dessert called Tremblec. But it's also, to me, kind of like the coconut version of sahlab. And I have a video on sahlab if you want to check that out, which is like a Middle Eastern traditional drink, almost pudding-like drink, dessert, um, kind of a mixture of the three. And that's pretty much what this is, maybe a little bit thicker. It can be eaten warm, it can be eaten cold straight out of the fridge. I love it. Um, and it's great because we are fasting for Lent right now, so no meat and no dairy until Easter. So this works perfectly for us. I only need a can of coconut milk, sugar, cornstarch, and cinnamon if you choose. I think it tastes really great with cinnamon, but you don't have to use it if you don't want to. And of course you're gonna need a saucepan to put it all together. So all I'm gonna do is start by adding my coconut milk into my saucepan and mixing all of these ingredients into the coconut milk. You want to do that while it's cold before it hits the heat of the stove. Otherwise, the cornstarch will clump up and it'll be really difficult, if you're able to do it at all, to um, get rid of those clumps and it just won't develop the same texture that you wanted to achieve. So I'm going to open this, add it, mix up all the ingredients, and then we'll add it to the stove. Everything is mixed in. I made sure that the cinnamon and the cornstarch are not in clumps and that the sugar is not sitting at the bottom. So now we can head to the stove. Okay, stove is gonna go on to medium heat. Meanwhile, I'm just going to continue stirring and you want to do this so that the sugar does not burn on the bottom and that the milk does not scald. Once it coats the back of the spoon and becomes really thick and luscious and pudding-like, then you know it's ready. I did switch to a whisk just so that I could get all the additional clumps out. I'm gonna shut this off because as you can see, this has thickened up quite a bit and it is ready to be poured into individual ramekins. The coconut pudding or the tremblek is nice and thick and ready to be poured. I do wanna mention if you don't wanna use full fat coconut milk like I did today, you can use reduced fat and it will work out just as well. Maybe it will end up being a little bit thinner. I did stir this for about, uh, maybe about seven or eight minutes and you can choose to do it less. Just keep in mind that the, the less amount of time that you stir it, the less thick it will become. And then I switched to a whisk just so that I can get out any additional clumps that just so happen to pop up. But yeah, this is, this is it. So I'm going to store these in the fridge, but I want to let them cool for a little bit before I put them in there. And when I do, I want to cover them with plastic wrap and make sure the plastic wrap is touching the pudding itself, just to prevent any skin from developing on top. Kind of like how I mentioned in my previous chocolate pudding um, video, it just makes it a lot smoother and I just prefer the texture that way. I'm gonna taste one from over here just so that I don't mess any of these beauties up. So I'm gonna taste this. And by the way, totally kid friendly. My daughter loves this stuff, hot and cold. Okay. Although the texture is thick, it is still very light in terms of flavor and I love it. So this is a really great way to utilize a pantry staple like coconut milk and turn it into something delicious just like this. I hope you enjoyed this quick and easy dessert and that you give it a try while you're staying at home in quarantine. Stay safe, stay healthy, and enjoy delicious meals and desserts just like the ones that I'm sharing with you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to the channel while you're here. And we will see you next time on The Bite.